I'm so glad that together is with you. You're more than I think I deserve. <laughs> You're more than I ever hoped or imagined that I could get. I'm so incredibly lucky to be with you. Here's to you, Chloe. And along with everyone in this room, we all love you. Um, you're a friend, a bestie, a sister, a cousin, a niece, a daughter, a granddaughter, and my stunning bride. We love you. The first time I saw her was um, in the same aisle that she'll be walking down today. We were at the church and he had an afro at the time and my mum pointed him out actually from the congregation and she said under that all that hair there's a really cute face and I was like oh yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember thinking you know like he's just my friend and then I got really jealous when he was talking to someone I was like no I'm not jealous I don't like him and whatever but I did. It'll be a special moment when she comes down the aisle. I'm going to be, I'm definitely going to be crying. <laughs> I'm very nervous <laughs> to walk down the aisle, but yeah. We practiced it yesterday, and as soon as I looked at Tom, I was like, oh no. <laughs> now, the weird thing about my first interaction was with Tom was actually to give him a haircut. And I think you were raising funds for a, a mission trip. What you have to know about this is that I'd never spoken to Tom. I didn't even know who Tom was, but there was something deep, deep inside me that wanted to give Tom the best, worst haircut that I could. <laughs> gradually, this guy who I'd given this haircut to, gradually started to hang around with us. And um, being a man and being a bit delusional, I thought, you must just think we're a really cool family to hang around with, you know? Who doesn't want to hang around with the Turleys? And then gradually I started to notice that he was really focusing very specifically on one member of my family. And I think it was Natalie who finally burst that bubble for me and said, look, these are less family trips are more like supervised dates, Mark. You know, they're, they're actually going out together. Do you know that you have ravished my heart? Oh, my bride, oh, my bride, yes, you have ravished my heart. That was hard at work showing me every single piece of embarrassing childhood footage that exists of Chloe, <laughs> and there is a lot of it. But yeah, Nat, you've been the ultimate wingman. Uh, if you want to sum up how Chloe and I got together, uh, it's down to her mum. <laughs> I started to realise how serious you two were about each other when it seemed like no matter what time of day I visited the Taylor household, Tom was always there. Sleepovers with Chloe evolved into watching movies with her and Tom and you might think I would have been jealous but it was quickly very clear that I wasn't losing a best friend, I was gaining a best friend in law. I don't even know where to start but I'll begin by saying that a man who waits a year for you to start dating is a fine man indeed. The biggest thing at rehearsal was seeing your dad walk you down the aisle. Among the chaos of rehearsal, it reminded me of what we'll experience for real tomorrow. You mean the world to your dad. I feel like I might cry because it is overwhelmingly humbling to be given the privilege of their blessing for your hand in marriage. I'd be a real fool to take that for granted. When I see you today, I'll be reminded too, not only of what you mean to your family, but what you mean to me. I promise to honour you publicly and privately and be faithful to you all of my days. I want to be a prayerful wife who encourages you and is your biggest cheerleader. You're more than I ever imagined possible for my life. I'm so thankful to God for his gift of you in my life and I just know he's so excited for us today as well. Couldn't live without your cheeky smile, humour, and bear hugs. You're my best friend. See you at the altar. You lift up your 
is that what they say in films? <laughs> I am calling you now to me. I have so much more to tell you. Tom and Chloe, this day is not a marriage contract. It is a marriage covenant. The difference is vitally important. A contract is based on how much can I get. A covenant is based on how much can I give. It is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Amen. You may now kiss the ring. What, what does make me sad, Tom, are the times when and a lot of people probably wouldn't see this, but at the times when you talk about yourself as being average, because you're not. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> you're a man of exceptional quality. These things that, that I and these other people see in you will strengthen your marriage. You've found a partner that I believe sees the best in you just as you see the best in others. And that's what I'm truly grateful for. You're a mate that I value so much, and you found your match. Somebody with just as much brio and flair and a love for life. And Chloe, I, I really think that you're fantastic. And this marriage, your marriage, is going to bring happiness to not only the two of you, but to many others besides. This most impressive young woman is the perfect one for our Tom and we have only just begun to see the fantastic potential of who she is becoming. Because you two share the deepest value of all. That will cement you together for a lifetime. Your love of God, your recognition that He created both of you and He's the one who's drawn you together and it's in His presence that you've made sacred vows today. He will bless this marriage.